Hello and welcome back to Tea in the Deep Blue Sea with me Victoria. This is part two of three of my algae maintenance video. In this video I'm going to be talking about cleaning out a container and setting up the culture medium ready for a new algae culture. I really hope you enjoy the video. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you'll join me for part two of three. If you haven't already seen part one, there's a link just here. And at the end of this video, there will be a link to part three. I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much for watching. See you in a bit. So here is the equipment that you will need for making up the culture medium for your algae. I have a large bottle of RO water, sterilizing fluid, a funnel, um, instant ocean reef salt, a turkey baster, some gloves, bactericidal soap, a hydrometer, container for measuring the salt out in, distilled water rinse, some weighing scales, cup of tea, optional extra but I would highly recommend it, a water tester, again optional extra is some added cool rubber ducts in the background, I think it's quite essential, a bottle for storing the water in or a bucket and I have a large bucket here for mixing the water up in. I'm doing this in my bathroom so I tend to make a little bit of mess doing it. So I'm going to go and get started now. The first thing I need to do is wash my hands with bactericidal soap to get rid of anything on my hands, take off my jewellery and put on some gloves because if I've got any cuts I don't want to get the salt into them and I don't want any bacteria off my hands to get in with the with with the water I'm making up really with the culture medium so without further ado I will do that now and I will see you back here in a second so I'm back and ready and ready to begin my hands are clean I have gloves on just to protect myself from any small cuts I've got the salt getting in them and also to protect the algae from any bacteria I've got on my hands so just a quick thing before I start all of the containers I use are sterilised before I use them, just to make sure that nothing's collected in them and that it's very sterile. So I have standard sterilising fluid here. I got on Amazon, which is just the stuff you sort of use for babies' bottles. It's great for equipment. So I use, I sterilise everything before I start, just to make sure that everything is clean. What I also do is use a distilled water rinse that I've made up myself. Um, it's really easy to distill water and I will cover that in a later video but distilled water rinse just to rinse everything out and make sure that again it's clean and there's nothing on there that has got on there between sterilizing and putting the things in. So the first thing we need to do is measure out the salt. So this is instant ocean which is reef salt and this takes 33 grams to make a litre of water that is at 1.020 salinity which will work great for the algae um, I'll put a bit extra in because it's a little bit low at the moment so we're just going to sort of make that up and measure it as we go along so I've got the large bucket here and we're going to get measured just stolen weighing scales from my kitchen standard um, weighing scales to make sure you zero them, just a little tub to put it in if it wants to zero today. One thing I should have mentioned is bringing a scoop to <laughs> measure the salt in, but that's fine, we're just going to tip it in. So looking for about 33 grams. Now we're making two litres, so we're going to go for 66. Right, there we go. So that's in, so we're going to make up two litres of the water. Just seal that up out of the way, just so no water gets in it or anything. We're going to do, move those scales out of the way and bring the bucket up. So pull that salt into there. And we want two litres, which I have measured out in here already. I'm just going to pour that in. I'm going to put a little bit under two litres in to start with because I want to make it a bit stronger because the salinity is low at the moment and just measure it and see how I go. So we've got the turkey baster. Just going to use it just 
to mix it in a little bit. Then we're going to get our hydrometer to measure the salinity. So this is my hydrometer. So when you submerge it in the water, the arrow will move up to what the salinity is. And I'm looking for somewhere around this region here. So we're going to see. Submerge that in there. And if you can see that, just let it wobble for a minute. I realise that's not on camera. So if you can see here, that's coming in about 1.023. So I do want to make it a little bit higher, so I'm going to go ahead and add some more salt. For this, I'm going to slowly tip some salt in directly from the bucket. So I've always got more water. Just add a little bit, not too much, so you don't have to keep correcting it. And then the same process again. Just stir that in. Like so. And then pop the hydrometer in. As you can hear, I'm destroying my bathroom in the process. There we go. You can see here. That's sitting about 1.026, so that's quite a good level. I'm going to add the tiniest bit more salt because the salinity is a little bit low at the moment and I just want to increase it. So this water is going to be slightly stronger than what I usually make up. But the usual thing I make up, as you can see, is 1.025. So again, let's mix that with a mix of turkey baster and can measure it again. Quite enough water in that, make sure it fills all the way up. It may take a couple of seconds. Okay, there we go. So that's a little bit higher than usual, but that's absolutely fine because it is low in my tank at the moment. So, what we're going to use now is another water tester just to double check the results. So, this is my other water tester and it tests standard gravity different levels of pH, everything else like that. What we need for this though, we just want the salt content. And we're gonna do in SG. Take off the cap and just pop that in the water like so. We can get it to hold. not going to want me to show you for some reason. It was reading at 1.029 however as soon as I've taken out the water it's resetting not holding a figure for me but that is great. I'm going to shake that off a bit and I will clean the electrodes with some distilled water just so there's nothing in there and when I put it in something else there's no cross contamination and I'll leave that to dry before I pop the lid back on. So that is our tub of culture medium that is all prepared. So what I'm going to do now is use the funnel and pour it into the bottle. Perfect, so now we've got our culture medium being made up and ready to add to the tank. So as I said, what I'm gonna do, just got a distilled water rinse. Just gonna use that to clean those electrodes there and leave them to dry. The same with the other hydrometer, just give that a clean out, just so there's no salt deposits or anything. Of course, before the next time anything gets used, it will all be thoroughly cleaned and sterilised and then stored securely where no debris or anything can get in it. So, now to fill up the tank. So, what I would usually do at this point is use this water to pop into here. So we've already filled it up with some, but this is just a little bit stronger. So I'm just going to add some of that in. It's quite a bit saltier, so hopefully that will boost these salt levels in the tank. 
And you've got the hydrometer here. That will pop up and measure that. It just takes a little while sometimes for it to settle in and uh, see where it is. You can still, it's still a little low, so what I may add later, I'm going to see how it goes and then add some super concentrated salt. Just going to mix it up a little tub and just get a couple of syringes full of very, very salty water and just inject it into the tank. So now I've got some prepared for my next tank. One thing you also need to do once harvesting algae is add some nutrients. This is again covered in labels because it lives in my fridge and I don't want it being accidentally mistaken as food. So you add three mil per two litres of culture water. So take a little syringe, pop that in. This is a one mil syringe. So just inject that into the tank as so. You can put more in, it will just increase the growth. This is a three litre container. I'm going to put four mil in. Give it a nice boost. There we go. Make sure you either wash your syringes thoroughly or use disposable ones so no cross contamination. This will now go back in the fridge. There's loads in there. It's from Reef Phyto where I got all my um, plankton culturing kit. Um, really, really good company. I'll just give that a little bit of a stir with the air stone. And that will now screw back on. Like so. And just make sure the thermometer probe goes back down into the tank. And that just gets lined back up here with the lights. And then the air pump will be turned back on. Turning on plankton paradise. So now you can see that's just bubbling away. So that one is ready to grow again. And what I'm going to do slightly later is to completely clean out that tank and start a new culture there. So I will see how that goes and I will add this to the end of the clip. But for now, the air is running, the lights are on. They're on a 12 hour timer, so it's all automated. And as you can hear, my airline is connected to Google. So it's all smart and it's least maintenance as possible for me. So it's another thing I don't have to worry about. So what I'm going to do now, put all of these pouches in the fridge bar bar a couple that I'm going to use to start the new culture in the right hand culture tank as you shall see in a bit so that is my algae harvest so that was algae maintenance video number two of three I hope you've enjoyed videos one and two if you haven't already please hit the like and subscribe button I look forward to seeing you in video three for setting up a new culture Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day. Cheers.